All right, well, uh, after you guys' initial uh, brawl, you guys are... Whoops. I got launched into the upper core. So when you resize your token with the resize custom, okay. there's a checkbox position token in the top left corner that's checked by default. I keep forgetting to uncheck it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, as you guys start moving, moving through. Grabbing uh, um, Raven. Yes. Uh, kind of hear uh, some people kind of like. Hey, and then you see this uh, Dwarven trying to call out to you guys over here. Raven will tap Karatos and uh, hold a finger to his mouth and uh, point over in the direction of the dwarf. Kind of uh, so deadly. Oh, hey, people. There's uh, a lot of people. Yes, you see quite a bit of people. And uh, uh, this Corbin will start. Oh, my gosh. So relieved. I'm Cracker uh, Gray. I... Oh, you, you, must, you must have been hired by the lady. Uh, Lady Dandar to just uh to rescue us. Uh, well, we were requested by some people from the castle, not the lady. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, well, well, did you hear? What if you took out? We we heard fighting in the uh. Order and just uh, so relieved that you guys were here. Uh, they they've taken the goblins here. As soon as we try to escape here from the town, um, uh, the goblins set upon us as soon, as soon as we entered. They would grab people and drag them off. I don't know uh, if heard from them if they're you know still here. But you know, uh, if you will uh, allow us, uh, if the way is clear, then I will lead the rest of the villagers back to town. Uh, yeah, the town went under siege. We dealt with that. Uh, there were some bandits. They fled. So the coast should be clear in town. Yeah. Don't mind all those uh, giant orc bodies. Yeah. Hello. Hey, and joining us, Roderick, our. Tell us about Roderick, our giant expert. Hey, sorry, my mic is totally. Hello! Roderick is discombobulated and ready to study some goblins. Okay, well. Um, actually, when you guys first entered the caves, you guys were set upon by a large group of goblins, as well as some ogres. Uh, but uh, you guys uh, survived uh, dealing with that, and now you guys just found a group of villagers.
Uh, yep. Follow us. We'll lead you to the entrance of the cave. Okay. And then with that, we will just kind of have a layer because essentially, I eat. guys, some moments to take this large people. We'll clear them out. However, as it, it does make a lot of noise. Come um, out from the the noise of all the people leaving and, and escaping. You see a pair of goblins. Three of goblins kind of come out with. A number of bats. Rats. I want to say bats, but they're rats. At the sounds of movement, Keratos. All right. Well, in that case, let's. Yeah, let's roll for initiative. As... Because if they uh keeping these people here against their will and possibly going to use them or going to employ them without their consent. Glorious to be employed with consent. Even say there's nothing more glorious. Which way are the bad guys on the map? They are in the left. eastern. They're the east, northeast. Okay, thank you. I have such a hard time with uh, the vision thing. It's really like disorienting, I guess, as a player to figure out what's going on. Sure, no, that's fine. Like I said, uh, they just kind of. Uh, Up, up. Well, the, the in the in the kind of craziness of guys getting the people. Okay. Here's And their fault. Okay. Okay, and I'll move right up there and try to take a bite on who with the uh, character. This and one of the goblins will take a shot at.
22 for six. Ooh, Goblin took a short bow shot at me. Oh, uh, no, at Mario. Oh, that hit. Uh, Mario. All right. I'm going to move to here and grow bigger. Go to section rage. All right. And then I will start with the one on the left. Uh, I did not say reckless, so at 10. And no miss. Okay, enter. Okay. I did have ready to action. It was ready as soon as someone came in and won't fight. Uh, it's tactics. Oh, it looks like that. Okay. Work together to fight. That is the 18. That hit. Peter um. Locke. Um, I don't think Cedarlock can get in this fight currently. I think Cedar. Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, I... Is there? I can't see over there. Um, Cedarlock will start moving that way then. Yeah, I think Cedarlock has a. a light I can dash. Light coming. 40, but there's no vision on Cedar Lock, so I can't see where I'm going after I get to this point. Sure. I still have 24 sure. more feet of movement. Okay, that's good. I can guess. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can admit. I, I, oh, yeah, I was going to put this bright light, so. Can you see through cedar lock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right there. So that'll work. Okay, that's cedar lock. Is now. Um, I'm gonna throw some fire at these rats. Okay. That'll miss. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna get a little out of the way so that birch flower can move in. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, and then it uh, looks like birch flower's turn. Yes, it is. And birch flower will come up here and slam some rats. Okay. Nine hit rats. No, they're a little faster than that. Okay. That's it. Right here. Go after Mario. Advantage. This. John. Alright, let's see. Ten. Fifteen. All right, I can see this one. I'll shoot at this one first. Okay. Oof, that's gonna mess. Uh, bonus action I'll attack again. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that, that's right. That will not get. <laughs> uh, that's all I can do. I can turn. Okay. 
a Draven. Draven will first use his bonus action, the Dancing Light, that uh, a bit better area. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, because I don't have control of this room, I can't. Okay. Well, but I can have it. Hold on. That's what Give Draven will light. try and do to get back and help. Darkness. Um. And. Oh yeah. Uh. So Draven's Raven flavored owl, the Dark Lord of the Sith will grant him advantage as crossbow bolts fire at this dark, dirty rat okay. for a short bow. Hit! For 18 damage to the rat. Okay, and how do you, how do you take out this rat? Uh, Draven punctures its kidney on the inside, and it dies to, uh, internal bleed and hemorrhage. Okay. Oh, right. And... Uh, it's just Goblin, uh, kind of comes out and like, Ah! Dang it! Um... And hey, you'll just get a shield going. But we go on a defense. Can't go around. Move in there. So ready for that to happen, Roderick. Uh, Roderick will start moving around the trees, see if he can get a better view. Uh, and can see over here and is going to, uh, well, I'm going to test this out. It, it, it might be an issue, uh, but I am going to uh, drop a shatter in a cave uh, right there. Ooh, okay. Ooh, actually, no matter what, I'm going to take out the key. Even on a success. What's the rate? It's like 20 feet or, or 10? I know, it's a 10, 10 foot radius, so it was just getting the ones up in the corner. Uh, yeah, and that guy. Yeah, I'm like, that's the only one I was going to worry about a saving throw. I think this is all the goblins. How do you take out those goblins? Well, I, I, I'm watching carefully the ceiling to see if I manage to cause a cave in too. Uh, I'm not really focused on the goblins. Sure. They just happen to be. They're just part of the test. Yeah, uh, first thing you know, so it takes. Team. And yeah, ouch! Very nicely done. Uh, the cave remains. Uh, you know, it's some stalactites fall, but um, All right. the cave still thankfully is found. Alrighty. Uh, well, uh, that experiment uh, seemed to be somewhat successful. Uh, end of turn. Alrighty, Keratos. Right, Keratos. Moves up alongside Mario, a position that has become uh, very routine, and will start chopping down rat. Okay. Yes. Well, and uh, you know what? Does it look like rats are pretty beefy? Uh, it, that. A little, eh, as beefy as a goblin. There you there, go. There you go. Uh, we will uh, 
push it back if it still exists. End of care toaster. Great save. No, it it it, it the body just pushes back and then sprawls. Oh, very nice. And move in the bite, and that'll stop the other one seeing on your own. Twenty tis bite. The tree piercing, and the other one that was writing its action will not succeed. Mario. All right, we'll go for the top left one. Okay. Thirteen. Oh yeah. Oh my god. It's uh, it's black. And then I'm going to move around this one. There. Enter. Okay. There will try to um, fight Mario for five piercing. Cedar Lock. Cedar Lock has some rats in front of them. Which group of rats looks more hurt? Uh, they're all fresh. All right, we're gonna go with the rats on the left. Okay. 25 to slam some rats. Oh, yeah. For 17 bludgeoning. And splat. That's it for cedar lock. Okay, yeah. Then... Is this? Actually, this one will move up this way and throw fire at these rats. Okay. Yes. And... That one, you know, it's still standing though. And that's Isna's turn. Okay. And then okay. I'm just going to predict the future here and start moving Birch Block. Yes. Birch Flower, well, I'm going to move a little further than Birch Flower can actually move. So I'm not. Sorry, I'm not blocking Rob's token, but really I'm like over. Wait. I'm I'm just gonna stand here in some stalactites. Okay. And slam some rats. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. Twenty blood uh, me. <laughs> what's left of the rat after that? Just a tree branch full of rat tails. Okay. Definitely enough for a rat king. Anything else? Nope. All right. John. Let's see. 5, 10, 15 gets me there. Is there any uh, movement penalty for going... Uh... Wait, no, I don't have enough movement anyway. All right, I guess I'm going to have to take a couple of disadvantage shots at that guy. Okay. Hey, I think they both hit. Uh, yeah, they hit no matter what. And how do you finish off this? I'll, uh... I'll come around like the tree, uh, like, uh... This tree is like, uh, you know, main like trunk and uh, basically do like a uh, spin move and fire like two shots uh, directly at this guy's chest. Oh, very cool. All right. And. All right. With that. Oh, no, there's still a rat left. I. I almost forgot about that, right? Okay. Graven. We'll move up to get a better line of sight with the rat. And his uh, 
raven flavored owl destroyer of worlds will distract the rat for a bit while he uh, takes aim and fires with the Oof. Wow. Uh, Draven uh, skewers the rat, the bow. It doesn't even let out a sigh until after it's dead. Okay, and then with that, everything here clear. I'd been forgetting my sound effect. There we go. Yes. So the villagers are out. Uh, you can hear in the corner some sobbing. Kind of in one of these corners here. I think we missed a rat. In the corner? Oh, uh, yeah. In this area. So this is definitely a tighter... The trees can stay behind and keep guard. All right, and as you are making yourselves here, you do um, you notice here, Draven, that this area appears to be like uh, a natural with well, a base of a uh, of a chimney that's over here. And uh, in the corner, it, uh, I don't know that this area is, is definitely more like humus. It's, it's like slick with uh, like dew and whatnot. So it's definitely like slimier, hard. But you can hear like uh, like sobbing. Uh, looks like a more well-to-do human, just although it looks kind of bedraggled and. We are here to rescue you. Please do not resist. She says, oh, uh, "Don't look out!" As the slimy area seems coalesce to this. Oh my gosh! Black pudding like substance and. Let's do initiative one more time. As it doesn't really surprise you guys, you guys are able to kind of call it out before it it goes. But this uh, black pudding Uh, John. Uh, I'm all the way in the back, so I don't see what's going on. So, uh, something, like, to the west and then to the north, that way, past Karatos? It's, uh, yeah. big and slimy. Alright, I'll try to make my way over there. Five. Fifteen, twenty-five, alright, thirty will get me to there. All right, so that's all my movement. So, all right, I see some big and slimy. All right, I'll try to shoot it twice. I'm uh, pretty sure there should be. Okay, and both are hit on. Okay. Um. Well, all those hits, but you definitely notice that your bolts 
kind of dissolve with the uh, as it hits. That doesn't look like I'll ever get those back. All right, gonna turn. But you know, it's okay. And Roderick. Uh, Roderick is going to bravely disengage. Okay. And move behind Keratos and get his spells ready for next time. Okay. Pudding will. Put up his pod. Attack Mario. That's it. Oh. Thing. But, but. What was it? Eight. Eight to hit or eight damage? Eight to hit. Okay. That's good. Okay, Keratos. All right. Uh, well, Keratos will bravely will attack this thing with her glaive. Hey. And you know what? It it looks this is uh bad. Oh I forgot to do it. I will divine smite. Okay. And oh oh wow. that's a good smite. That's a good smite. That is a good smite because as you slash at it. Oh uh, yeah. Meaning you're slashing, it's gonna split. Okay, uh, then he also knows that the slashing doesn't do anything but the radiant damage. Go. Here. Oh no! I have cut it in twain! Keratos will move a bit to me. Okay. Then uh, Mario. All right. I'm going to move around to there, and I'm going to. Whatever you do, don't slash at it. There is no glory in that. Yeah, I'm going to pull out a javelin and stab it. Okay. Uh, does a seven hit? Seven is a miss. All right. Because I keep forgetting to reckless enter. Has Raven noticed anyone up close dealing damage to one of these slimes yet? Uh, you guys have seen Keratos slashing didn't really do anything. It just made it split. But uh, you've seen like the stabbings uh, work without an issue. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll try and stab it. So okay. Raven will move up and have his. Raven flavored owl named uh, Dark Mephistopheles uh, swoop in to gra grant Draven advantage as he casts Green Flame Blade. Okay. Yes. So the first climb will take uh, 12 piercing damage. Ooh, and the slime next to it will take 6 piercing damage. 
Okay, and yes. it'll give you six acid damage as you stab it. As Draven screams out in pain, calls to his phantom friends to uh, whisper words. Uh, are these things immune to necrotic damage? Uh, so far, you don't have a you wouldn't have a belief that it would be immune. Uh, in that case, this one takes two necrotic damage. Okay. And Draven will disengage. Okay. Draven, remember your seven temps. I don't know if they got forcibly taken. Ah, okay. I'll apply that. Thank you. Enter. Okay. Uh, well, you saw that fire seems to do something, and... Piercing. Did the wailing or necrotic do anything? And necrotic, yes, that stuff too. Okay, um, I'm gonna step in. Uh, did I see the smite damage hurt as well? Uh, yeah, you saw the radiant. You would have seen the flashing not do anything. Okay, I am going to call on the constellations and shoot a guiding bolt at the one in the back. Okay. You know, you that, know that well, that'll hit. Hey, uh, fourteen radiant, and it's glowing. Okay. And that's it for me. Okay, and then John. All right, uh, I guess I'll take advantage of that guiding bolt, and I'll shoot that one. I don't have uh, 26. All right, so 8 plus the six. Okay. How do you finish that, this putting off? Uh, I don't know. I just try, try to find, like, the uh, densest part of it, and I'll throw a bolt right into there, and then uh, I'll bonus action... Uh, you know, do a flourish with my gun and then uh, try to shoot this one. Oh, uh, crossbow, rather. Sure. Nine. Nine probably nine. doesn't do it. I will actually hit. Nice. For eight more pieces. There's her. Okay. All right, Roderick. Uh, Roderick will shoot that little one with fire. Okay. That'll still or try hit. to. Oh goodness! That'll still hit. Yeah. And how do you, how do you finish off this? Uh, you know, just burning off the pudding. Uh, and uh, um, oh, that thing was awfully big. I'm glad you made it smaller, Keratos. And welcome, more glory in killing two. Yeah. That thing nearly burned my face off in a horribly disfigured cult. And she will kind of come out. She's like, oh. Thank you for rescuing me. Sorry. Uh, I was supposed to be a meal for the racks and, and the pudding before you, you guys all showed up. Well, uh, uh, my name is Daffy Pestum. I, I am... Lady Nandar's lady in waiting. Has she hired you all to come rescue us? You might be waiting a bit longer. Oh, well, um. Oh, but, um. Out of character, she died, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, she, she died, yeah. Okay. She's like, oh well, um, regardless, I, uh, how about we do? But um, you, the goblins here, the the sounds of you guys fighting. I'm, I'm, they're they're villagers on the on the other end. I don't know. If you oh know. yeah, they're they're on their way back to town. Uh, we we can escort you since uh they're already gone. Like oh yes, uh, uh, thank you, Anna, thank you, and she will 
and it'll come to you, uh, and then you will find uh, their treasure hoard uh, on your way out. And yeah, that's where we will call it. Uh, you guys will stay at three. But I'll, in a, in a moment, I'll get the treasure and what you guys find into this. That's very much the caves. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing, nothing of note else. Um, I just moved the pudding to a different, from a different part to there, just to validate. Um, this would still be chapter, I believe it's still chapter one from, from King Thunder. I mean, technically there'd be more stuff from it, but we're going to sort of jump into after that um i'll just say in third level for probably another session or two a uh, module or two then we'll jump to fourth but yeah that is it for tonight's game short session but uh that that'll work for glory yeah for the glory glory saved saved villagers and took out a whole finish off a goblin trade it's a mongery